Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Loving Little Learners. Today I am going to show you how you can make your very own customized schedule inside of Seesaw that your students can have active links to get to all of the different activities that they have to do for the day. So in full disclosure, I saw this final product in a Facebook group that I'm a part of. If I can find um, who originally posted their own version of a Seesaw daily schedule, I will definitely go ahead and give them credit in the description box below. But I kind of just wanted to take the time to recreate it for my own classroom. This is exactly what my students will get on Monday morning and um, see you show you guys how to also make it go through the steps with you all. So um, this is what the final product looks like and I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how you make that in Seesaw. So if you go to my activities feed, you can see it here and I'm just gonna go ahead and edit the activity to walk you through. Um, once we edit the activity, you'll see here my um, title, my instructions, my instructions on this activity are geared towards parents because I'm assuming my parents will be helping my students in kindergarten get through their day. Um, but if I go ahead and edit the template, you can see what I have. So in your daily schedule, you'll only have one slide, but I've recreated all of my different steps so that you don't have to sit here and watch me go through them all. So this is, again is the final product and um, what you'll be sending out to your students. But the first thing that we are going to um, do is create all of the boxes for your different um, activities for the day. So if you see here, I have two boxes and I'll show you how to keep uh, making these. If you go through to the three dots on the bottom left, click, go to shapes, and I chose the square with the round edges. So go ahead and insert that into your canvas and move it to where you'd like. I didn't even resize it because it was already the perfect size for everything, all the information that I wanted to add. Um, and I made sure to keep the color scheme consistent. So all of my live meetings are going to be in green and all of my seesaw activities are going to be in blue throughout the entire day so that they realize what it is that we're doing when they see these different color squares. Okay, let me go ahead and show you what that looks like when I have all of my different activity boxes inserted. Okay, so I have nine activities that I want my students to do throughout the day, and here are the boxes that are, again, consistent with the um, activity that they're doing, whether it's a live meeting or a seesaw activity, etc. Once I have my boxes, I want to go ahead and label them. So I can use my text tool and type in what they're doing. So I want to number my lesson, so I'm going to say one is a live lesson. Okay, I'm going to restyle it so that um, it fits nicely and it doesn't have a box around it. Okay, and I'm going to resize it to fit into my area. Along with what it is that they're doing, I wanna tell them what time they're going. So I'm gonna say 7.50 to 8.50, they'll be in this live lesson. So let me go ahead and fast forward and show you what this looks like when all of my um, boxes are filled in with the, what they're doing. Okay, so now that everything is filled in, my next step is to add some type of image or logo into these boxes so that they can visually see what it is that they're doing during these activities. So with these live lessons, we are having our lessons with through Google Meet. So what I did is went ahead and Googled just Google Meet logo transparent. You can also put in Google Meet um, logo PNG to get a transparent image. Or again, you can always use remove.bg, which is a great website to make any image transparent. Once you find one that you want, go ahead and right click and copy the image. And you can go back to Seesaw and just paste it in. You'll resize it to fit in your box. And then you can go ahead and um, do this again for all of your different activities. So library, I'll put in a picture of a book. Our seesaw journal, I'll put in a picture of our journal. Okay, so we'll walk through all of those different steps. So let me show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so now I have all of my different um, 
images inside of the boxes and as you can see I also have these little links next to it so I made sure not to use any of my actual links I'm giving out to my students um, but you'll go ahead and insert whatever link that you're going to be using so you'll go ahead and click on your image click on the three dots and go to link and then type in whatever link it is that will get them to your personal Google Meet session or your Zoom lesson, um, whatever it is that you're using. Our special teacher also, or throughout the day, they'll have different um, Google Meet meetings or activities as well, so I can link those here too. Um, and again, for all of our activities, for the Seesaw Daily Journal, um, I got, went ahead and linked that as well. You can see how I make that journal and um, a different video that I have on my channel called um, How to Del Deliver Daily Lessons in Seesaw. And I'll kind of just show you what that looks like here. So here is a journal that I've created for Monday. And this will go through all of the different activities that they'll have throughout the day. Um, it's a video, student work, video lesson, student work um, again and again so you can now link this activity daily journal in your new schedule by going to the activity once you've already assigned it to your students that's a really important step you have to have assigned it to your students to use this new feature and so once you see it in your activities you can go ahead and go to the bottom right to the three dots again and go to get student link Okay, once you get here, you're going to copy that link and then you can now go into your schedule and um, click on the three dots again and insert that link here. So that's what I went ahead and did for all three of these um, Seesaw daily journal sessions that our students have scheduled throughout the day and um, make sure that everything has a link. Everything has a link on my page except for lunchtime. They don't need a link for that. <laughs> So once we have all of our links inserted in, you can see that they kind of get lost on the page. So anytime I have a link in Seesaw that I want my students to press, I want to make it as explicit as possible. So I go ahead and insert in a shape by clicking on the three dots here. Go to shapes and I want an arrow. OK, so once I get my arrow, I want to resize it so it's smaller and I want to point it to that link there. And I'm gonna do that again and again on every link that I have. The final product will look like this. Okay, so now the students are directed to all of the different links that we have and that I want them to click on. Okay, so once this is done, you can leave it like this, but I wanted to just add a couple more extra features. For instance, um, I can give them details for any of these sessions. For Epic Books, you always need a class code to log in. So I can go to a text box here and go to type in class code and move it down. Let's say our class code is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I can go ahead and add that under my Epic Books um, activity so that they can refer back to our class code if they need to. I can say for any of these live lessons, I want them to have certain materials when they come. So I can say materials and um, add in whatever materials I want them to come prepared with for this specific live lesson or this one here, whatever you want. Okay, so this is what it will look like when it's done. I say that for this live lesson, I want them to bring paper and pencil, giving them the class code. Um, Another feature that you can do is add it in your Bitmoji character. So if you go ahead to the Bitmoji Chrome extension, you can click in. And I typed in the word point and found this character here that I liked. Right click, copy, and paste it in. And I want her to be click, uh, pointing to the different arrows that we have. And I want her explaining what it is that I want the students to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the three dots again and go to shapes and choose a text or a speech box, bubble. So once I do that, I'm going to resize it and bring it down next to her and add in the text of what I want her to say to direct our students. 
I can also, if you don't want to use um, text or a Bitmoji character, you can also give further instructions by going to the camera button here and choose video. So my video camera is closed, but you would normally see your face pop up and you can give your students live directions saying, um, you know, go ahead and click on the links next to each picture to access your activity for the day. Okay. So you can have either of those two options if you want to give further instructions, but this is what my final product looks like. Again, you have all of our different links with the arrows pointing towards them. This is going to take them directly to our Google Meet session, directly to their library special, and directly to their Seesaw daily journal that I want them to complete throughout the day. Everything's here in one place. It's fun. It's cute. It's interactive. And it's one way to make sure that your students don't have to go in a million different places or bookmark a million different pages to get to where you need them to go on any given day. So I've created a schedule Monday through Friday that are just, I duplicated this exact activity and changed out their specials and changed out their link for their new um, daily journal. So once you make it once, it's super easy to customize for throughout the day or throughout the week and um, add in whatever new special they have for that day or whatever new activity or uh, materials you need them to come prepared with. So this is how you make a Seesaw um, daily schedule. And again, it's super easy and fun and the best, I feel like the best way to keep everyone on track throughout the day. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comment box below. Um, I, As soon as this gets accepted into the Seesaw Community Library, I'll add that link um, into the description box as well. Um, so go ahead and as always, please subscribe to my channel, Loving Little Learners, and I can't wait to make the next video. I hope you enjoyed.